a session on Notion, just a deeper dive on Notion than you had last time. Um, I'm just sharing my screen. Oh, sorry. Okay, you guys can see it, right? Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're not gonna have a lot of talk. We're just gonna be having more uh, practical session. So if there is any question, make sure to stop me and ask. Uh, don't wait till the end if you want. So yeah. So we're gonna be seeing uh, these points uh, on the Notion database points. We're gonna see um, how to create a da uh, database, how to name it, how to add properties, and how to customize what you have already created. Uh, I mean the property, and how to populate or add entities and how to modify them. And then uh, we're gonna see how to add icons and covers for a page and how to ta assign uh, create tasks and assign them. And if you want, uh, we can uh, also see how to uh, integrate countdown timer into your Notion page. Now just one example, but there are also others, you can check them out. And we will see how to create a timeline view and how to create our page to our database. And as you have requested earlier, we're gonna see how to create a landing page. So how does that sound? Good, I hope. Interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, jump right to it. So. Uh, I hope by now all of you have already created uh, a Notion page or a Notion account and uh, created a workspace. So I'm just assuming that you have already created these things. Uh, if you haven't, you make sure to do so. So uh, this is one page. Uh, this is just a private page that I have. Let me just uh, okay. Let me just work on this one. So I already have a page. Yeah, uh, it's a private page. So let me just add, create a new page. So I'm just trying to show you how to create a landing page. So a landing page is not uh, anything different, but um, it's a page that you share, and when someone opens that link, it will take them to your page. So what that means is, let's say this is uh, Nova, sorry. Nova events page. So you're gonna write uh, what you want to hear and when you're done with it, you're gonna sh click share and you're gonna click publish and you're gonna publish the your page. So it's gonna ask you to give uh, permissions, which permissions you want to give and which permissions you don't want to give. So just click through them which one you want and which one you don't want and just um, view site you can view it or you can just copy this and share it uh, with us or with anyone you want um, so uh, how you know uh, your page is live or uh, published is that you're gonna see this tab this bar uh, suggesting that you did so that's just all about uh, landing page, creating a landing page. So any questions on that? Anyone? So uh, would you please add or invite someone? I mean, their email address, how that is done? Yeah, I think that's already shown. Um, but yeah, 
you can uh, when you create your workspace you can add them if you want so these people are actually uh, from your batch that have already created but yeah um, let's create one so you can add it at them from here um, but what I like to do is um, let me show you how I do it um, I click I think I think it's taking a bit of time. So, have you created? Am I old or is it old stock? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, we can hear you. We can hear you. Hello? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Oh, okay. I think my page is already um, stuck, but. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to add them in your work, work workspace, you have to add them when you create it. But if you want to add them on your page or as your kids, uh, if you want to add them on you know, my events uh, page. You just have to go to the page and click share and just uh, add their email and invite them. Um, let me just. So, yeah, invites. And I will get the email. So, is that clear? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, here we go. Um, okay, another question? Yes, yes, I'm sorry for earlier, I think my, net, my network was, yeah. Yes, yes. Hello. Okay, let me just change uh, networks, I think. Uh, but say you are audible, maybe you just cannot hear us, but you are audible. Oh, okay, maybe it's her net network. Anyways, so let's mo mo uh, move on. So uh, let's move on to creating a database. So uh, everything here is clear, right? So let's say this is your la landing page. And the getting started page is your landing page, so you just share it and publish it and give them the link. So let's uh, try and uh, go through it, the next steps. So on the next one, let's say this, we are going to create um, the event, right? So uh, just instead, you can do a lot, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do a slash and write database and the full page as recommended on the file. So it's going to bring me to here. So that's how you're going to create a database page. So this is my database page. I just uh, 
I think it's called forward slash and um, write database and it's going to create a database. Sorry, let me just mute this. And yeah, so that's how you create your database. So naming the database and uh, adding properties to your database is going to be here. You're going to name it uh, event database, let's call it. And the properties are here. So you have name, uh, you have tag, and you have you can also add another one. Let's say um, it's, yeah, starting date. So I think uh, we have already provided uh, what type of uh, properties you need to add. So just add them. And uh, here you're going to uh, select the type of uh, uh, property you want to add. So starting date is going to be date. So I'm just going to select here and click date. And yeah, it will uh, already create a, a starting date. And you can also just create a uh, ticket type. Yeah. And just select, multi-select or select, drop down. You can do this, everything. So is it clear how you can uh, uh, create and uh, add a property. If there is any question, you can ask. I'm just uh, trying to go step by step. Okay. Literary understands it. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry to take you back just a bit. I yeah, wanted okay. to understand exactly where you got the table from, um, from the new page. No, uh, the table is actually automatically created. So, um, uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. so the, this is our page, right? Yes. So I'm just going to click anywhere I, I want and do a forward slash and write uh, database and select oh. a full page or anything you want. And it's going to create a database page. OK. OK. That's understood. Thank you. OK. You're welcome. Uh, another question? OK. So uh, we have seen how we can create. Hello, hello, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, I want to know if we are supposed to create the database on the page that we created yesterday, or are we supposed to create, to create a new one? Um, yeah, so the database is itself a page. So uh, when you are, you try to create a database, it, it's automatically going to create a page, as you can see here. So it's a new page. So we have the event page, and in the event page, there is a database, event database page. OK, OK, I see. OK. So we just added a property so you can customize it, which means you can edit it. So uh, just click on whichever uh, you want, whichever property you want to edit, and just write it. So maybe you can, you want last name here. You just write it, and it will automatically update it. So that's how you can modify your property. So the next thing is populating and modifying entries. So whichever row you want to edit, you just click on it and um, give it a name. Uh, Carrot and yeah. Oh, sorry. So this is a list. Um, so I'm just going to change. I'm just going to take change it. So as you can see, it's a list, right? So we need to edit it. So edit property, and from the type, I'm just going to select text. And yeah, it's a text. 
So here it's going to add, uh, you're, you're going to add a date. And yeah, ticket type, you're going to have to add, I think you have VIP, right? So it's going to create a VIP uh, ticket for, for you. So this is how you can uh, add your entries and edit them. So it, to edit them, you just have to click on them and start editing. So yeah, that's about uh, motion database and creating a landing page. Any questions? Sorry. Yes. Sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking we are going to have to create a form where people will be filling their information and it will be saving inside the database. Yes, yes. So that session is going to be tomorrow. Uh, we're just going to uh, focus on how to create a database, where okay. you're going to connect it. Yeah, that's, uh, you'll do, do that on the type form. Yeah, so any questions so far? Anyone? Okay, so let's jump. Okay, uh, yes. Yeah. Hello, please. Please, sorry. How to change the background? The data, uh, data, the database. The what? I want to put it into a new the background. Background? Yes. Actually, mine is showing in white. I want to put it in black. Um, excuse me. Um, Hello, I can't sir. hear you. Yeah, yeah, uh, your voice is yeah. a bit far. Yeah, I'm asking how to change the background. Mine is showing white. Yours is. Black. I think black. He, he just want to say oh. how oh. you did your uh, dark mode. Um, it's automatically. I think it's uh, it's because okay. my PC is on dark mode. But yeah, we can uh, definitely do it. I think. But. Let's just focus on this one for now, but I will show, show you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's move on. And uh, project management for your, I think this is for task three. So you are asked to create a page and uh, edit its icon and cover, uh, do some tasks, uh, assign tasks for the people you have invited. Uh, and uh, to put it in a timeline view and connect it to your database, right? So let's just see a highlights of how we can do this. So I'm just going to create a page, another page, and let's call this one uh, projects. And for this page, um, I'm going to, uh, the add icon is here. When you hover around it, it will show you. So you can add uh, whichever icon you want. So this is how you can edit your icon. Um, and for the cover, you can just add cover and you can change the cover whichever uh, you want. You can also import, import them from your uh, laptop or computer or just from the Google. You can just copy the and paste the image and they will import it. So that's how you can change the icon in the background of your page. And for the task list, so uh, I'm just gonna forward slash and to do list. So you're just going to, sorry, um, yeah. So you, you're gonna have a to do list. So just, um, invite uh, guests, no, members, and so on. And you can, okay. And you can do, you can also say anything you want, uh, anything you have to do when you're doing the project, you're gonna write it here. I think it's going to ask you to assign four tasks. So if you want to assign, you just have to uh, write the at symbol and the people you have invited are going to be listed here so i'm just going to click someone here and just write uh, whatever i want and it's already assigned to him to care or the CSI, uh, to me in this case so 
Um, yeah, so that's how you can uh, create tasks and assign tasks. So, uh, is it clear so far? Yes, okay. very, very, very straightforward. Thank you. Okay, the adding speakers part is still on the landing page, right? Um, so, Stan, I don't understand your question. Oh, uh, adding about the speaker. Yeah, yeah, I think you need to add it on the landing page and also on this page. Uh, you just go through the challenge document and yeah. So anyone else, uh, any questions? I hope you get the video on as soon as possible. It will be very vital to join the assignment. Thank you. Okay, but is it clear? Uh, yeah, so, so, far, so far, yes, so far. Okay. So, uh, before going to the countdown timer, let's go to the timeline view and how we can connect to our database. So, um, let's just click here and uh, write timeline view, and it's going to prompt us to select uh, whichever, which uh, database we want to connect here, and we're just going to select the one that we have just created. So for this session, we have created the events database and I'm just going to click on it. And since we haven't had, uh, we ha we didn't uh, mention any entries, it's not going to show me anything, but for you guys, since you have already invited us and created the event, it's going to show you uh, the timeline here. And it's already connected to your database. So is it clear so far? Um, yeah. How we can connect it? Yes, Kiteri. Oh, kindly repeat that step on uh, deadly, please. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, what we did was, uh, so right here, you just go and click, uh, click uh, forward slash and timeline view. And it's going to prompt you to select the database. It's already created a database, uh, created databases, and you're going to select your database, and it's just going to create the timeline view automatically, as you can see here. Is that clear, Gary? Um, for the last part, uh, this is actually optional, uh, but if you want to gain the knowledge, so how you can uh, integrate the countdown timer to your notion. So this page is one of the third party um, pages or software that allow you to do this. So just click on this link and uh, sign up. I've already signed up. Oh, I had signed up, but yeah. Let me just log, log in. Okay. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of uh, widgets or widgets that you can use. So here we have the countdown timer. So I'm going to, I'm just going to select it and write the title. So uh, event countdown. I'm just going to click continue and it's going to create it for me. And um, here you can write the title of the event. Let's say, uh, since you all, you all have a different title, let me just say, get and uh, what's the end date of when, when is it, it, is this event going to happen? You are just gonna select the date and the time here. Let's select uh, April 4th, 
at six o'clock or twelve o'clock. Yeah. Um, and it's already created. So uh, for uh, you can actually create a dark mode or you can create anything you want. And just here, you're going to have a link. Just copy the link and go to your uh, page and or add slash and embed and paste your link and embed, embed link. And it's going to create your timer. So this is what it and you have three days, 23 hours and 28 minutes to go. So you have already created the countdown timer. So is it clear? I'm sorry to take you back. How did you onboard the timer into your page? Um, yeah, so uh, did you, okay, let me just do it again. Let me just delete this one. So you have seen me when I was uh, logging into this, right? Uh, yes, Leah? yes. Yeah, yes. so I'm just going to uh, find the account down and just give it a title. Uh, let's call it event so it will generate it for you and you just have to give it a title and a date of which the event is going to occur on so if the event is set to be starting after uh, on the on saturday so you're just going to click on it or after a week even you're just going to click on it and click on the time specific time and it's going to create that countdown timer and you just have to copy the link here you can see it right yes yeah just copy the link and go to your uh, page your notion page and um, just click uh, or write or add slash and write embed. Embedded. And it's going to ask you to paste a link. So you're just going to paste the link you copied earlier and just click on embed link. And it's going to create the timer, the countdown timer. You can also uh, play around with, with it here. Um, you can see the color. You can choose the color, the text colors, uh, and dark mode or light mode. You can select dark mode. So uh, since my my uh, notion is in dark mode, it's better if I use. Uh, a dark mode. So yeah, here it is. You count down to your event. So uh, is it clear? Um. Yeah, so uh, the landing page and the database page. So the landing page is your uh, main page, right? It's where everything is going to be stored at. So let me just uh, click here. And here, uh, if you remember, this is our landing page. Let me just, if we consider this one uh, as our landing page, these are sub pages. So you can see them here, right? So if I click on the event page, event page also has a sub page called uh, where we can find the database. So yeah, uh, the event, the, you can, uh, if you want, you can use the landing page independently, but yeah, okay, it's clear. Okay, any other questions, please ask.
Okay, I was just I was just about asking, but you just um, did that. That there is a link from the landing page to the event page, and vice versa. I'm coming back to the landing page, right? Yes, like you can click through them. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. This is our page. This is also another page. Yeah. You can click through them. So they are connected. Any other question? But you can, if you want, you can just create another page that are not connected. So if you want, if I want to create a page that's not connected, so I'm just going to click here. Um, oh, so uh, I'm, I have to create another page, another work, 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 workspace for that. So they are connected. But these two, the event and the project page, are not connected since they are not. Uh, so if you see here, the add button uh, prompts you to add a page inside. So when I create a page, it's going to be inside this the event page. So that's why. I hope it's clear. Okay, any questions? Any other questions? If there are, please ask. Okay, I don't think there are any questions, so we can um, start the session. So we're gonna have a and a session later, so make sure to join and ask uh, just Try to practice it now and just uh, ask La later if you want. Yes, um, you can't go. Yes, Daniel. When when is the Q and A section? I thought what time is the Q and A session? Um, in the afternoon, I think after um, twelve hours or three hours uh, they meet it's on notion okay okay i'll check Th thank you let me just uh, check the notion okay okay yeah so it's after uh two and two hours and 20 minutes Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, that's it for me.